diesel-powered vehicles have long been the fuel of choice among four-wheel drives and commercial vehicles. Diesel technology has some great benefits. For instance, they provide some great mileage on a tank. A diesel engine typically delivers 25-30% better fuel economy than similarly performing gasoline engines. You see, diesel fuel is one of the most efficient and energy dense fuels available today. Because it delivers more usable energy than gasoline, it delivers better fuel economy. They are also super durable. Diesel engines are built to withstand high compression ratios and they are also built to deal with high torque figures. As a result, they tend to last longer. But unfortunately, it's not all good. Diesel engines do have some less desirable qualities too, which is why they are kind of dying out. There are very few new normal passenger vehicles still for sale using diesel power. And the biggest reason for this is because they are dirty. The only way it's still viable is through the use of increasingly complex technologies to capture the suit and to reduce the NOx. And yes, there are some interesting technologies out there which do just this, like the opposed piston engine, which I did make a video on. So if you want to see that video, I'll leave a link here. But all of these technologies are still just band-aids. If the regulations keep raising, even they won't be viable forever. But there is another way, dual fuel engines using diesel hydrogen injection. Now multiple companies are actually working on this technology and it's easy to see why. You see, it can be used in two ways. Number one is on existing diesel engines, which you can convert to run on this dual fuel system. And number two is on new engines that are in development. So let's start with the existing cars, since there are already millions of diesel trucks and cars on the road. Ulimco offers a dual fuel solution that allows hydrogen to be mixed with diesel directly in a conventional engine, supplied via onboard gas tanks. Now with these conversion kits you can run from 30 to 70% hydrogen diesel mixes, which will give you a direct drop in CO2 emissions produced by the vehicle. Now according to Ulimco, your engine won't lose performance or reliability after the conversion. In fact, it will continue to run on diesel even if there is no hydrogen available in the engine. The engine will automatically adjust according to the fuel mix that is injected into the engine. And as it does this, the driver doesn't even notice. So how it works, you will need space for the hydrogen storage tanks in your truck or car. Then they install a computer that monitors the hydrogen diesel fuel mix and adjusts accordingly. This is great, remember most diesels already have big NOx catalytic converters, so the NOx that is produced will be minimized and the CO2 will drop by a substantial amount. But some Aussies have developed an engine that can run on a 90% hydrogen diesel mix. The engineers from UNSW, Sydney, Australia have successfully converted a diesel engine to run on the dual fuel hydrogen diesel system, reducing CO2 emissions by more than 85% compared to the conventional diesel engine. That's amazing! The team is led by Professor Sean Cook from the School of Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering and him and his team spent around 18 months developing this hydrogen diesel direct injection dual fuel system that allows an existing diesel engine to run using 90% hydrogen as a fuel. In a paper published in the International Journal of Hydrogen Energy, Prof Cook's team show that using their patented hydrogen injection system reduces CO2 emissions by 85.9% compared to a conventional diesel powered engine. Now this is great for the planet, but hydrogen is expensive at the moment, so would people even use this? Well, yes, you see, this new hydrogen diesel direct injection dual fuel system, that's a mouthful, does not require an extremely high purity hydrogen, which must be used in alternative hydrogen fuel cell systems, which means the hydrogen used in this system can be produced at the lower cost. Now all of this is great in my opinion, if you ask me. There are thousands of trucks being used on the road and on construction sites. If all of them used this system, they could still function exactly the same as now. But while they run, they would produce 85% less emissions. And this would work on diesel passenger vehicles too. Only problem would be space, since you would need a safe place to store the tanks. But let me know down below what you think of this technology. Do you think this could be used in all applications or do you think this is more for commercial use and like construction vehicles? I do think this would work better in big trucks and stuff since there's space. Um, a passenger vehicle doesn't really have space and like the boot is kind of a crumble zone. I don't think you want to put a hydrogen tank in the boot because in the event of an accident it could be quite dangerous. 
But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I've got many more car related videos like cars is my thing. So if you like cars, this is the place to be. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.